What's cracking YouTube? Welcome back to the video blog, the Hoxton Trend. Guys, really quick review I've got of this jumper. Um, it's like a sweat, it's like a sweat jumper actually, um, with a zip. Um, it's part of the new Stone Island Spring Summer Collection and I just got this in and I got this from Aphrodite guys as you can see right there and it was on at 215 this is a size large zip sweat and the colour is olive that's the tag right there guys straight from Aphrodite um, yeah I just thought I'd get this in and see what it's saying to be honest with you because I saw a jacket over when I was over in Berlin and I put it up on my Instagram it looks just like this but um, I think this bit was black and the sleeves were black. So I just thought, I don't know, it just reminded me of that jacket. If you jump on the Instagram and scroll down a little bit, you'll see a Stone Island jacket that looks like this. So when I saw this, it just reminded me of it. That's the reason why I got it in to do a review. So I thought I would show this to you real quick. Um, as always, we always look at the zips and they are using the uh, Vizlon YKK, which we've all grown to know and love now. And yeah, the track is obviously Vizlon just do really reliable zips. We'll be doing this all day and it will never fail us, guys. It will keep on going forever and ever and ever. Amen. Got the Stone Island badge there, as you can see, as always. Bam, look on the other side. It should have like a nylon type finish, a smooth type finish. And if we look at the, if we look at the um, holes that they've used to cut for the, for the buttons, it should never be straight, guys. Sometimes you see these; they look so straight like that, even straighter than that. It should just kind of look like this, guys, a little bit. Okay, so that's one thing that we note. Also, now we can see that we've got some drop stitch, de drop stitches there, and some drop stitches on the side of the button. These are ways to help us spot, guys, whether. Um, whether the buttons, whether the, the badge is fake. Another thing I've noticed about the fakes as well is that the fakes, if we look in here, you can see it's more of a cross. And what I've noticed with a lot of the fakes that I've seen is that they've got round circles rather than it looking like a cross on the inside. So the fakes is almost as if someone's got like a, a drill and just drilled four pieces into the side so it looks round. But again, this one looks cross like there, guys. Also, the Stone Island engraved is really deep whilst the fake one is really faint and light. Okay guys, so that's some of the ways to help spot. But this one should come with the Certi logo right there. And so many people ask me what app do I use to, um, so, so many people ask me what apps do I use for the barcode. And it's this one here guys, you can see it right there. Have a look, it's called, just called QR Scanner. So simply just go to your, the part of your phone where you, your app store, if you're, um, if you're with um, OS, um, if you're with Apple, or if you are with Samsung, then you go with the um, Android. Um, I don't know how it works in the Android, but yeah, just simply just jump on there. Bam. Go to search. And just type in here QR code, guys. Simple QR. Or here, QR reader. That's even fine. You just type in QR reader and then you get a whole bunch of them there. You can even stand that one, but I think that's the one I've got here. I've got this one, QR, code, reader, and barcode scanner. So guys, what you can do is just download that and you will see it right there, guys. I've done this on many videos before, so I will do a proper, proper video on this to show you. But yeah, basically, I don't know why these are always coming folded, man. This is like the third time that I've got a Stone Island item and this stupid tag has been folded and it just makes it harder to scan but yeah you just um, just get your QR reader there and it, it should just pick it up guys bloody hell guys finally scanned it man you have to really stretch it out to get it to scan so yeah flipping sort this out Stone Island man allow creasing your labels so stupid anyway so yeah just scan that guys and you can see that the 30 logos there you can see the numbers the same I'm not going to go through this process I'll do it another time but basically if you just follow this it will show you um, how to ensure that your item is fake or it will tell you if it's uh, it will show you how to ensure your item is genuine or it will tell you if it's a fake okay but I'll do a proper video on that guys let's just um, um, run through this at the moment so also notice on the arm they got like a some pockets there as well on the inside so you got some pockets there and I've just even seen here look a little bit of velcro that opens up so the pocket really opens up on the side not sure why it does that but yeah it's there anyway um, just want to see if they've got the little Sometimes they put the buttons there, but they didn't put it on this one, probably because it's a, it's a sweatshirt. Sometimes they put buttons on the inside so you can hold your badge, but it's, it's not on this one. 
wonder if it's <coughs> anywhere else inside the item actually nope what would have been cool is if they put the badges on the buttons on the back as well so you can put the badge there but yeah that's just me being extra so yeah that's the item guys um downsides to this it's it's really thin man it's really really thin i know it's spring summer i know people are going to be saying yeah but it's spring summer hoxton man so it's meant to be thin but i don't know i, I don't know if it's worth 215 I, I feel like it's a really expensive um lightweight sweatshirt i know it's stone island but um, as I've mentioned before, usually I, I, I usually just get Stone Island for winter stuff, to be honest. <clears throat> winter stuff and jeans is what I would go for for Stone Island. I wouldn't really get sweaters and stuff like that. I've kind of just got this to kind of show you guys and see what it's saying. Chances are I'm going to send this one back. I will not be keeping this. Um, but yeah, that, that's the item there, guys. That's everything. Got these little pull cords um, here for the um, zips. We've got that on the uh, pockets as well. Um, just want to see what's inside the pocket. Anything special in there? Nope, just a normal pocket. Cool. Sometimes people put different materials inside the pockets, but yeah, this is such a lightweight sweatshirt. It's probably not worth doing that. Um, also, what I've noticed on Stone Island as well is you get these kind of little lines here. This one, they've put the same color lines as they do on the um, the stitching is the same color as the item. Um, and sometimes on the fakes, I notice that they don't bother. They don't bother putting that line there so that's one thing to kind of make a note of so guys that's it man that's it for the review of this item again i saw this on uh, aphrodite at 215 this is a size large and um, if you're looking for something like this something lightweight for the summer um it might be worth a cop but for me i think i'll be selling this back guys this one is not really for me you, you can see me trying it on the side so yeah let me know your thoughts man let me know what you think of it do you think it looks cool have you got one already let me know your thoughts on it guys okay that's it for the minute. More reviews coming, more bits and bobs coming, so stay tuned, guys, okay? Catch you lot in a bit. Peace out. You can look at the cross here, the, the little cross on the side. This one looks so I've well, got those as well. Bam, ultra mawaz, guys. Super expensive. Um, I really but he was like, nah, you should keep them, bro. He reckons they're going to be worth That is just mental. Feeling the hood. The hood feels down in Got the, um, this is a Moncler Uber jacket. Once. At a glance, you probably wouldn't know. Probably wouldn't know.